Deep within the heart of the dense forest that bordered our small town, there existed a hidden clearing known only to a select few, a place where the veil between the mortal realm and the spirit world grew thin, and ancient rituals were said to take place under the cover of darkness. As children, we whispered tales of the forest rituals, weaving stories of dark magic and forbidden knowledge passed down through generations. It was on a moonless night in the dead of summer that I first stumbled upon the clearing, drawn by an irresistible curiosity that gnawed at my insides like a hungry beast. Guided by the faint glow of firelight flickering through the trees, I pushed my way through the underbrush, my heart pounding with a mixture of excitement and fear. As I stepped into the clearing, I was greeted by a sight that chilled me to the bone, a circle of robed figures, their faces hidden behind masks of bone and feather, swaying rhythmically to the beat of a drum that echoed through the darkness like a heartbeat. In the center of the circle stood a towering figure, its form obscured by shadows, its presence commanding the attention of all who stood before it. With a voice that seemed to reverberate through the very air itself, the figure began to chant in a language that was ancient and primal, its words weaving a tapestry of power and darkness that sent shivers down my spine. Transfixed by the scene unfolding before me, I watched as the ritual reached its climax, a sacrifice offered up to the gods in exchange for favor and protection. With a swift motion, the figure raised a gleaming knife high above its head, its blade catching the firelight as it descended towards its helpless victim. In that moment, terror seized hold of me, driving me to flee into the darkness, my footsteps echoing through the forest as I ran for my life. Behind me, the sounds of the ritual grew fainter with each passing moment, but the memory of what I had witnessed remained burned into my mind like a brand. For weeks, I dared not speak of the forest rituals, fearing the consequences of revealing the secrets hidden within the shadows. But as time passed, the memory began to fade, overshadowed by the demands of everyday life and the passage of seasons. And yet, no matter how hard I tried to forget, the forest rituals lingered in the back of my mind like a half-remembered dream, their secrets calling out to me in the dead of night, beckoning me back to the darkness where forbidden knowledge awaited. To this day, I cannot shake the feeling that I stumbled upon something ancient and powerful that night in the forest, a glimpse into a world beyond our own, where magic and mystery reign supreme, and the line between reality and nightmare grows ever thinner with each passing moment. And as I stand on the edge of the forest, gazing into the depths of its shadowy embrace, I cannot help but wonder what other secrets lie hidden within its depths, waiting to be uncovered by those brave enough to seek them out.